Do you also have the problem that your booting 60HC or 2HC is acting up all crazy, pressing random buttons, opening programs and doing just weird stuff? Well in this video I'm trying to help you guys out and fix this problem once and for all. So usually the cause of your keyboard acting up is because the keyboard doesn't receive a steady enough voltage. Usually these problems occur when you actually use 100% brightness on the LEDs and actually use tachyon mode together. That just requires a lot of power and sometimes the cable is just not able to provide that power. Usually this is the case with the custom cables, but also we cannot rule out that some booting cables might actually be defect. But besides the cable, there are also other factors that come in play that create this issue as well. So let's say you have your booting keyboard plugged in a USB hub, a KVM switch, or maybe the front I/O on your computer. Sometimes those devices aren't able to provide a steady enough voltage towards the keyboard. What I recommend you to do is unplug your cable from your USB hub KVM switch or front I/O and plug it directly into the back of your PC into the motherboard. If that fixes your problem, nice, you fixed your problem. But if you're using a custom cable and it still doesn't work, I recommend you to grab our stock 60HC cable or 2HC cable and plug that directly into the back of the PC. And of course, if you have problems with your 60HC cable, directly put it in the back of your PC as well to see if that fixes your problem. But if the stock 60HC cable or 2HC cable still doesn't work properly, I recommend you to unplug the cable and put it maybe from 2.0 to a 3.0 port or maybe 3.1 port and see if that actually is fixing the problem. If that still doesn't fix your problem, we have to rule out if your cable is just simply defect. So for that I recommend you to grab a random USB-C cable in the house that's shorter than 2 meters long. Plug that in and see if that's actually working better than the other cables. If that actually works better than the other cables, then our cable might actually also have a defect. And if that's the case, I recommend you to send us a mail over at socialatbooting.io and we will help you send a replacement cable towards you. But if that other cable still doesn't work properly, there may actually be something faulty with the keyboard itself. And therefore I recommend you to contact us once again at social at wooting.io and we'll help you out. But now you're probably wondering, am I still able to use my custom cable or do I have to use the stock 6CHC or 2HC cable the entire time now because that's the only cable that actually works together with Tachyon mode and 100% brightness. For that I can say yes, you can still use your custom cable, but you will have to change one setting, and that's the brightness of the LEDs. If you change your brightness from 100% all the way to 50%, together with Tachyon mode, usually this is able to run stable on most custom cables. But if that doesn't fix your problem, you can always try out 50% to 0%, so actually turning off the LEDs and see if that fixes the problem. If that still doesn't fix your problem, try out to turn off tachyon mode and if that still doesn't fix the problem i'm afraid your cable is not suitable for the 60hc or 2hc but that's pretty much it if you still encounter any issues or you have any more questions please let us know at social at wooting.io and we will try to help you as soon as possible and i guess i will see you guys in the next one bye bye